My name is Tiffany Vandymark. I'm an athlete. I've been an athlete my whole life. And my challenge for this year is a Spartan Sprint Race. And I've had some back pain and foot pain over the past couple of months that have hindered my training. And I'm going to SOAR Medicine to understand how to heal those injuries and stay healthy as my race is in four weeks. So tell me what's going on, how's my health? So I'm getting ready to do a Spartan race. Okay. And I started running again. And I went to a podiatrist and was diagnosed with hammer toe a while back from paddleboarding yoga. She said it was genetic. And um, also I've been having some lower back pain. Okay. And just started a workout running program and I want to make sure that I'm staying healthy through to do the Spartan race in April. Okay. Um, as far as hammer toe goes, it depends. So there's a lot of causes of it. Um, sometimes it's related to collapse of your arch, and sometimes it's related to not wearing the right shoes while doing a lot of physical activity. Okay. Because it puts that part of your toe into a bad position that causes it to stay in flexion. So it looks like a little Mizanami. Right. <laughs> and so we have to look at other things related to your overall gait, the way you walk, the way you step, the way you move without your shoe on in order to determine if this is something that is related to or has started to cause this hammer toe um, deformity based off of your mechanics. Okay. So that's part one. And that also may play into your back, although I do know the history of some of your back, which um, you went to a chiropractor, got evaluated, had scoliosis, which is okay because scoliosis shouldn't cause pain. The fastest man in the world has scoliosis. Uh, a couple other people have scoliosis that are high level activity. Um, uh, athletes good to know so you don't have to worry about scoliosis necessarily causing pain or deficit or having huge issues with performance okay. if it's not greater than a particular percentage which i saw your old x-ray so they don't look like they are a, it's sort of in a serious position for you to have major pain or discomfort okay. i think possibly the manipulation when you're in that stressed deformation is going to give you more pain than anything else okay so you just have to work with your mechanics in order to make it better all right so take off the shoe for me and so not take contagious. a look it's not So, for your um, right foot with the hammer toe, um, your gait and the way you step are off slightly. So you're over pronating with that foot. And your arch has a lot to do with the hammer toe itself. Your arches are extremely tight on the right hand side. And when you're stepping, they're pulling that toe up. So it actually appears as though it's, it's flexing when it shouldn't be. And it's just that head or the top of the metatarsal head down here that's getting stuck in flexion that's causing that to, to, uh, to do what it is. So I think our focus is gonna be on the arch and on your overpronation and looking to neutralize that shoe or neutralize your, your step, possibly with orthotics, possibly with a change in shoe. So we'll see as we move forward. We are gonna get x-rays to assess the level of arch and see if that metatarsal head is kind of caught in flexion or if there are any mechanical issues related to osteophyte formation or overgrowth of bone or anything else that can cause that issue. As far as your back, we need to get x-rays to determine where you are. So functional x-rays meaning inflection and in extension, 
to see if the vertebrae is either moved or slightly off and to see if there's any sort of further worsening of that scoliotic change, especially okay. after the adjustment. Now, I doubt two weeks is going to give you a huge difference, but in two weeks and with constant pain, we definitely need to re-image and see where we are okay. because those images were taken prior to yeah. the adjustments. Okay. So um, we'll compare those and, and move forward. Great. Thanks. that we need to do um, based off of our, our findings today. Uh, one, the findings for the arch uh, of her foot as well as the hammer toe are directly related to the positioning of her metatarsal head, uh, of the uh, second metatarsal head to be more exact. That can be adjusted via uh, orthotics likely and footwear likely. Um, also is needed is physical therapy because we need to assess uh, the function of her overall gait. And that's going to be the next most important step in order to determine whether or not um, this is a uh, great prognosis versus we need to look at other things that may be causing her issue. Uh, the second thing with her low back pain, there is a history of scoliosis um, which uh, was known. However, she has been a, a, a high-level athlete for a number of years and scoliosis has never bothered her. So likely, scoliosis is not a factor in overall uh, treatment. So um, moving forward, x-rays were completed today. Um, there found, was found to be a facet arthropathy on the left-hand side between L3, L4, and L4 and L5. Um, from that arthropathy, it was likely irritated through the chiropractic manipulation, which is causing her pain and discomfort for the last couple of weeks. So physical therapy is our best initial step moving forward in order to correct some of her positioning, some of her pelvic girdle positioning, and increase strength and mobility in that area uh, so that she's able to run in her goal, which is the Spartan race.